Hello everyone, welcome back to another pickups video. This is games that I've picked up in the past couple months. Hopefully I'm not missing anything here. I was also initially going to do like videos included like movies, but I figured the game, amount of games that I've gotten now has become big enough to where I'll just not include the videos. But anyway, so to start with, we have our only PSP game, which is Call of Duty Roads to Victory. Um, this is one of the ones I've never actually had. I had a PSP for a long time now, but I just never picked this one up. So it's good to finally have it. I did have to clean the disc a little bit and kind of mess with it, and then it finally loaded. It's in decent condition. It has a manual, a little bit of damage on the back of the cover art. Or, uh, yeah. But overall, pretty good. Uh, I'll definitely play through this at some point. Um, I don't know if this case closes that well though, but it works. The next item on our list is from Russia with Love, 007 for the PS2. I picked this one up at like a farmer's market, I think, retro store. Um, I've never played this one. I've, my, not, the amount of games that I've played that are like James Bond games is very limited. I played like, uh, what was it? The something sol sol solstice or something, I forget what it's called. It's like uh, the one with Daniel Craig in it. Uh, that one was pretty good. I've obviously played and have the original 007 for um, N64. But yeah, overall my list of like James Bond games is very limited, but that one looked really interesting. So I decided to pick it up. The next item on our list here is Brothers in Arms Road to Hill 30. This is actually in like a pretty good condition, like the case and everything. We obviously have our disc and the booklet. The booklet is very well made. It shows different enemy types, weapons, like a bunch of information, which I really like. I've never beaten a Brothers in Arms game, but I did used to have this one back in the day, and it was a pretty decent game. I don't know why I got rid of it, but I'm happy to have it back. I've actually been on like a big kick for World War II stuff recently, so I've been picking up a lot of World War II, World War I games. Just anything like with World War. But uh, yeah, I picked up Medal of Honor. I actually ended up finding out that I do have this one, so, uh, but yeah, it was pretty cheap. I mean, online it's a little more expensive, but the, at the retro game store that I went to, they had a bunch of them. So happy to have a second copy of this again. Maybe I'll sell it, maybe I'll hold on to it and use it as like a backup, maybe compare the cases, but it's a, still a pretty good pickup, so not mad about that. The next item on our list is Brothers in Arms, Earned in Blood. This one I actually have not played before. Uh, this is pretty cheap as well, $5.99. The case is in pretty decent condition. We do have the disc and we have our manual. No longer in color, black and white now, but still better than nothing. Pretty good. The next item on our list is Shell Shock Nom 67. I've never played this one as well, but it's $9.99. It's pretty cheap. Looked fairly interesting. I hope it holds up well. I did see some videos of it and it looks all right, but yeah, hopefully it's better than I expect it to be. Comes with the manual, pretty good case. I think there's a few Shell Shock games as well, so I'll have to look into the other ones. The next item that we have on our list is, and this isn't really like in a particular order based on consoles, it's kind of just whatever I have sitting to the right of me. So we have Home Alone 2. This came at a fairly decent price. It's uh, uh, obviously complete in box. I do have the manual, I have the uh, cartridge, everything, everything looks good. It plays, I tried it out. The game kind of sucks, but uh, being a fan of Home Alone, I enjoy having this in my collection. Um, maybe I'll try to play through it again at some point, definitely maybe around holidays. If I can find the first one, the first one would be probably fun to play, it does look much better. So, but nonetheless, good to have. The next item here is Shinobi 3, Return of the Ninja Minister. This one uh, doesn't have the manual, just the cartridge and the case, but it came at a fairly cheap price for how expensive this game can be. So I'm happy to have this. I played through this a decent amount on my stream. Uh, I played the one that's on like the 
Sega like mini whatever console but definitely try this out I actually haven't tried this cartridge out yet I should just to make sure it works but happy to have that the next item on our list is Tony Hawk uh, Pro Skater for Game Boy Color try this out it works not necessarily the best game ever and that's something that I'll probably spend much time playing as I have the first one on I think uh, N64 and maybe even PS1 but seeing this complete in box like this with the manual the game like everything it was pretty cool so and it was a really cheap price so I figured why not pick it up the next item here is Daymare Black Edition so this actually comes with I don't want to go too in depth with it but it comes with the game obviously here that you guys can see and it comes with these like character bios like this uh, so apparently there's like a American version of this and like the I guess the European version of it I accidentally picked up the European version uh, apparently PS4 isn't too picky when it comes to uh, the regions on like the games so but I haven't really tried this yet so hopefully it works if not I think the game is pretty cheap maybe I'll pick it up somewhere else but yeah as you can see it says Peggy 18 here instead of the normal ESRB rating so that's how you know it's a uh, not American but so the next item that I have here that I want to show is Doom 64 for N64 now, on my channel, fairly recently, I did that video where I unboxed the Switch version of this that they released through Limited Run Games. But I was at a game store in Media PA, and I actually saw this there. It was kind of pricey, but apparently it was slightly cheaper than what it would have been online. And it comes with the manual, the game. The only thing that it didn't really have is like that insert that a lot of these games have. So I bought some inserts online, and. So it's sitting nice and snug now, no issues there. But really nice to have, the game works, I tried it. It is a little dark. I'll probably stick to playing it on modern consoles for the most part, but it's a pretty cool piece of history to have and being a huge fan of Doom. I love the artwork, I love the box, like everything about it. So very happy to have that in my collection. The next item here is Dark Arena for the Game Boy Advance. This is one of the like, somewhat few uh, FPS games for the Game Boy. It's also one of the better ones, I would think. I did play a few, like Duke Nukem, and I think maybe another game, but this is one of the better ones, I think, from what I've read. And I did try it out, it seems pretty interesting. I think at some point I'll definitely give it a playthrough, uh, just for the heck of it, but yeah. And it comes with the manual. I actually got this for, I think, maybe a little cheaper than what it would have been online just because they didn't really know what the price of it was. and But yeah, it worked out well. Happy to have this. I've been searching online for like Game Boy Advance games complete in box. And I've been seeing this game and I wasn't sure if I wanted to pick it up. So when I saw it in the store, I was like, sure, I'll take it. Uh, and, and the box, it's a little smushed in the back here, but overall it's in pretty good condition, I would say. So the next items I'll go into will be the PS4 games. Um, so I picked up obviously Resident Evil Village. It's not as new now, but within the last few months I would say is what kind of what I'm including in here. So uh, I got this game the day it came out. I did get the Platinum Trophy in it already. So played through it. It was a pretty good game. Definitely a grind, but another game in my RE collection. So nothing too interesting. Obviously it's just a disc. They do have like a couple of these like little codes that I already put in but nothing crazy but just a typical new game cases very empty uh, the next one is spider-man miles morales this one I've been meaning to get for a while and uh, I got the platinum in the first game so then I finally decided to pick it up I got it uh, I've been playing through it so far I'm close to getting the platinum already in it but yeah it's pretty cool um, Obviously, it's a little bit smaller than in terms of like length and everything than the normal Spider-Man game. But being a huge fan of Spider-Man and that being one of my favorite like superheroes, I'm always happy to have a decent game. So the next item we'll go into will be 
the Zelda, the Legend, or the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. I did pre-order this like beginning of the week because I found out it was coming out already. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing through this. I do enjoy Zelda games, some of them more than others. And it seems like I like the, while I like uh, Breath of the Wild, I feel like some of the older ones I enjoy a little bit more. So I think this one will be really good to play through. So, and yeah, I've never really played any of the, like not the original or this one yet. So I'll have to maybe do a video giving my opinion on it or we'll see what happens. Now, finally, we get into something that's more of like a surprise, I guess. Not something that I expected to be having, but uh, I managed to pick up the PS5, which uh, was like a bundle through GameStop. And it came with Spider-Man Miles Morales Launch Edition. Now, being that I already am playing through it on the PS4, I'll probably give the PS4 version to my friend. That's kind of what I'm planning on. And I'll hold on to this, but I'm gonna get the Platinum and the other one. And I'll probably keep this sealed at least for now. Maybe eventually if I wanna play it again or something, I'll reopen it, but I'll, I might as well just keep it sealed at the, for the time being, so I have that. The next game that came with that was Destruction All-Stars. This game apparently doesn't have too many good ratings. Part of me wants to try it. I think it was free on PlayStation Plus at one point, but I don't know if I grabbed it. If I did, I'll probably just play it that way and I'll keep this sealed. Otherwise, maybe I'll actually open it up just to kind of try it out, see what it's all about. But we got that. And the final game that came with my PS5 was Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Um, I'm like, I used to be a huge Ratchet and Clank fan back in the day. I used to play it on the PS2, the PSP, and I think I still have like the PS2 and PSP games. But I've never really been playing it much or like gotten much into it recently. So. This one actually though, like when I put it in and tried it out, it's so far pretty fun. It does bring me back to the old days a little bit and it actually looks visually amazing. I mean, it definitely looks next level. So I'm looking forward to playing through this, probably try to get a platinum trophy in it, but we'll see what happens. And then finally, the last game on my list here, as long as I didn't forget anything as mentioned, is Demon Souls. This one I went out and got it once I came back from my trip and I knew I had my PS5. I did start playing the OG one for the PS3 a little bit prior to my vacation. And then once my PS5 came in and I got this, I've been playing through this and I actually got a little bit more ahead, but I'm definitely looking through forward to playing this more and getting through it. I'm gonna try to get the Platinum Trophy in this. We'll see what happens. I do wanna grind through Miles Morales a little bit real quick so I can get it to my friend and then afterwards I can focus more on like my PS5 and stuff, so. But yeah, thanks guys for uh, watching this video. Um, I'll try to do more stuff like this, maybe even improve on some things. I do wanna do some videos where I'm like including other, um, whether it's like game collections or like PS2 games or looking at whatever different categories. So definitely if you're interested in those kind of videos, feel free to subscribe come back to my channel and watch them. And hopefully, as mentioned, I'll improve the quality of those videos as I get better and more experience in doing them. But yeah, thank you for watching everyone and I'll catch you in the next video.